Welcome back, everybody, and thanks for watching Money Matters. You know, the real estate market in San Diego County is finally beginning to show some signs of recovery, but buying or selling a home today can still be a challenge. So I thought it might be a good idea to pass along some really timely tips. Joining me right now to talk about all of this is Rob Cunningham. Rob is a realtor with REMAX Associates here in San Diego County. Rob, thanks for being here. Hey, George. Thanks for having me on. Hey, I want to talk about this, but first of all, I mentioned we're seeing signs of recovery. What are you seeing out there, Rob? We are seeing signs of recovery, especially in the for affordable housing sector. When a home is affordable, we are seeing multiple offers on the property and sometimes prices being bid up to where the appraisal can't even justify it. Sure. Sure. So buy there's actually a pent-up demand for homes and buyers are frustrated because they can't find housing right now. Rob, think about where we were a year ago. Really depressed. Things were really yeah. down in the dumps, weren't they? Yes, they were. Yeah. And, and how have we bounced back? What, what, what do you think has motivated this bounce back? I think that the, the property just became affordable. There was a period of time when you can get into a property and your mortgage was cheap, was less than the rents. Yeah. So that was really driving it. Properties are affordable. Obviously, we have historically low interest rates and the, the federal and state incentives. The tax credits. The tax credits are Good causing stuff. a lot of people to jump in the market. All right, let's go to some tips to help people in here. I want to talk about people that are, are thinking about selling a home. I want to go over a couple of things that are, are very helpful. And I know the first thing you talked about, you got to price your house right, don't you? Pricing is the number one issue in today's real estate market. Yeah. And it's such a sensitive issue. Virtually, <laughs> if you're 2% overpriced, your home's not going to sell. And if you're 2% underpriced, well, you just left money on the table. So you have to really stick to the right price and find out what that is and create value in the eyes of the buyer. And you have to set the emotion aside. You think your house is worth a lot of money, but that may not be as much as a buyer is willing to pay. Absolutely right. The, the, the price of the home is determined by what the market can bear, there you not go. necessarily what you think it's worth. Let's talk a little bit about getting a home ready to sell, or as okay. I like to call it, curb appeal. What do you need mm -hmm. to do to make that house uh, something that just about anybody who walks in would think is, a, is something they'd like to own. Obviously, when it comes to curb appeal, you're going to want to have your home so when they see the home, it is a desirable home. It doesn't want to look like a shanty or, or it's just thrown up yesterday. Right, right. Um, and when it comes to actually preparing the home, you're going to want to have a home inspection done so you know what's going to come up beforehand because that does come up with negotiations with buyers. Yeah. I always recommend my sellers that you go ahead and have termite inspection done and even the work done. So the buyers know that they're working with a responsible seller, and that does create value for the buyer. I think this sounds simple, but an inspection is much different than an appraisal, right? Absolutely. Okay, so you need to know the difference between them, and they're both very important in the process. And then one other thing on the selling side, uh, using a realtor, why is that so important? Well, it's so important because a realtor is going to help you price your home. They're going to help you with the little tricks and tips, such as getting an inspection, preparing the property, and most importantly, a real, an aggressive real estate agent is going to get you the exposure that you need to get you top dollar for your property, for really what the market can bear. All right, let's shift over to the other side now. We've got some tips for people that are out there buying. And one of them is to make sure that you know what you can buy, how much you can afford, mm -hmm. and what's the process of doing that? Obviously, you're going to want to call a lender that you trust, and you're going to want to get pre-approved, and that will give you the confidence when you're out in the market that you know that you can afford the property and will give you the confidence in negotiating the best price when you do decide to buy the home. And you don't want to fall in love with a house that you can't afford, right? That's correct. <laughs> That'd be a big problem. That'd be a big problem. All right, let's touch with another thing. Um, having a plan when you're going out there to, to buy a house uh, so that you can leave some of the emotions behind, how important is that plan? And what would you, what would you say that plan should include? That plan should be very specific towards what you're looking for. So you should have a detailed outline of what you're looking for and what's going to work for you. And I always like to remind people that there isn't the perfect home out there. Yeah. We're going to have to compromise somewhere. So find something that works. And don't overwhelm yourself with looking at too many homes. Stick to the best homes that your realtor refers you to and make a decision on that. And, you know, that for some people it's going to be schools are a number yes. one priority. For others, a quiet neighborhood. So mm -hmm. let's go to the third point. In the world we live in today, when you see a house you want to buy and you're ready to go, you need to act pretty fast if it's in that affordable range, don't you? Right. You have to be ready to go and write a strong, even your highest and best offer sometimes, because if you like the home, believe me when I say there's other buyers out there that are also going to like the home. Yeah. One of the things that's been a bit of a problem for your industry lately has been that a lot of the properties that are being sold are the either uh, bank-owned properties, short sales, foreclosures, and things like that. And the process does not move quickly, right. and that can be a frustration. How do you get your clients through that? That, that can be frustrating for a, lot of, for a lot of home buyers. And patience. patience. Patience is a virtue in today's market, especially when dealing with distressed properties. While you have an offering on a property waiting for it to be approved, you can always be looking for 
another home that might not take as long to get into. But patience is certainly the key there. And one of the problems I think, I don't, I, it's not a problem, it's a reality. Uh, a lot of the people that are buying some of these affordable homes are investors rather than people that are planning to live in there. And Absolutely. so they, they sometimes can make offers or handle the thing a little bit different. So you, you got to know you're going to be competing with some, some, some big time players maybe. You are, the, you are going to be competing right now. And the best answer to that is to follow the advice of a professional realtor and do what they say because they, they're going to know what it's going to take to get your offer accepted in today's market. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's tough out there. I'll ask you to do a real quick look into your crystal ball. Do you see the markets uh, uh, stabilizing in here? Do you think that as we move through 2010, things will continue to show that modest momentum to the upside? I, I'm seeing momentum right now. Uh, a crystal ball is a really tough thing to look into <laughs> for bet. me, especially, I mean, if I, if you talked to me a year ago and said, Rob, what's the real estate market going to be like in, in summer? I would not have known that we are going to be having multiple offers on properties. Yeah. Uh, I like to refer to what Warren Buffett says, that we are in recovery and that by mid next year, we should be in full swing again. Well put. We can only hope. I agree with you. And I hope that it stays that way. Rob, thanks for coming in today. Hey, thanks for having me. Good information. Thanks so much. What's in store for San Diego's overall economy? Well, we're going to discuss that in the next segment. Stay tuned.